everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. And I'm going to be doing my face shave now. I've just done my head shave using the Everlasting Kai blade. That was 10 shave in that blade, 5 face shaves, 5 head shaves, full shaves, not just one pass, 3 passes on each shave, including 5 on my head. And I'm going for number 11 now, and the blade's still kicking, it still feels great, it still feels smooth, it still feels sharp. It's the only reason I'm still using it. As soon as it feels shit, I will change it, don't you worry. But at the moment, I'm not going to, I want to see how far these blades can go, because they're quite expensive. It's more than paid for itself, in my opinion. I got this for free, but it's the gift that keeps on giving, so thanks again, Tony. And the soap I'm using today, it's the same as my head shave, Ogallala Bay Rum with Sweet Orange. Superb soap, really worked very well on my head, awesome slickness, great post-shave feel and it smells brilliant. For a bay rum, if you're not big on bay rum, it's got a lovely sweet orange scent through it and it does come out quite up quite a bit. I'm using hot water today, main reason being there's so many oils in this soap, it is not coming out of my razors when I put it in the cold water. So I'm just going to use hot water today, which is fine, it's not my thing, I prefer the cold water shaves, but I'm just going to go for it today. It'll be interesting to see what sort of face shave I get out of using hot water. I've had a shower, so I'm reasonably prepped. Right, let's just bring a bit of the soap out. Just comes out like that. Dip it in the water. Oh, that beautiful, the orange, you know, it's very pronounced. It wasn't as pronounced as this when you first smell it. And it's a very natural smelling orange. It's not like a sort of artificially scented orange. It's lovely, really nice. Right, I should have way more than enough on my face right now to complete this shave. I'm going to be using my wolf whiskers today. Odyssey shaped handle, blueberry pie colours, 24mm black wolf with 53mm loft. Favourite brush in the den, without doubt. As you can see, it's whipping up a great ladder. Needing a lot of water because I've put too much on. I'd rather have too much than too little. Oh yes, beautiful, what a beautiful ladder. Absolutely lovely. Right, timeless. 0.95 open comb. Scalloped head. 
11th use on the Kai blade. Let's see how we go this one. This could be the deal breaker. I don't know if it'll make it through the shave or not. I might not make it through the first stroke. But as long as it's smooth and comfortable. I'll continue to use this blade until it tells me otherwise. I mean, it's got to give eventually. It can't go on forever. No blade can. But so far. Feels pretty good. I've seen Paul Leach use a blade, I think it was 10 times, actually maybe more than that. But it was all face shaves, and face shaves as far as I'm concerned, don't use a blade up as quickly as a head shave. They just don't, the head shaves just annihilate blades. I think it's on its way out. It still feels good. I think it'll be good enough to finish the shave. And then we might have to retire her. I'm saying that, it's plowing through this hair on my neck with no rotation. Remember the last time I did a whole water shave? I think it would have been pretty much the beginning of January. What's this slickness like? It's very good. I didn't feel like it was going to be there, it feels a little bit dry, but I think the lather's a bit dry because I put far too much soap on my face. Cross the green. And yeah, this blade still feels very smooth, I'm really two minds whether to get rid of it or not. I know I could just chuck it away after four or five uses. But if it feels as good as it did after the first four or five uses on its tenth use, why would you? Why would anybody? There's no need to at all use it. I know these blades are cheap. But essentially, out of a hundred blades, if I could get eleven of these shaves every time I a blade, that's eleven hundred shaves from a hundred blades.
just to put that into comparison. 1100 shaves from a hundred pack of these blades. I would need to buy 1100 feathers to get the same amount of shaves on my head alone for one shave. So that gives you a bit of an idea. Just how good these blades are, cost wise. Soap is tremendous. It's very cheap as well. Didn't pay a lot for the soap. Scent strength's good. Scent strength's about a six or seven, but that's probably a seven. Quite a good seven actually, if I'm honest. Got beautiful orange scent through it. It's got that awesome clovey bay rum going on. Lathers it absolutely beautifully. And they do it in sticks and they do it in pucks, I think, in tubs. I just thought the sticks are ideal, I can take it with me wherever I go. Across the grain, again, other way. If I'm honest, I'm actually quite enjoying this hot water. A little bit cooler here today, it's not quite as hot as it has been. Now this blade's super smooth still. So this is against the grain right now, and I'm getting no, no irritation or feedback, and that's BBS on that section there. I've had no next cuts or bumps so far, no rash. I've got no wood to touch, so... Just need to hope I can get through this without cutting myself now. Now that I've said those famous words. Now this blade's going to carry on, I tell you right now. There's no way I'm getting rid of this blade until it's done and dusty because it's super smooth. I've got no, absolutely no irritation, no cuts, no bumps, no rash, no nicks, no weepers, no creepers, no nothing. the lips. Superb. I know a lot of you guys out there are going to be saying, oh, it's because you used hot water. You could be right. Really, really enjoyed that. Absolutely superb shave. Oh, that's close, that's really close. BBS in the head, BBS in quite a lot on my face. Not obviously all of it, I don't go against the grain very rarely. Really, but... Superb, absolutely superb. Witch hazel, medicated. All over.
Oh, the smell of clover oak would knock you out. That's by far the best smelling, the best smelling witch hazel, in my opinion, not just the best smelling witch hazel out there. And it tastes pretty darn good as well. Not that you should drink it, but witch hazel is pretty good for you, from what I hear. Right, so while that is drying in, just cleaning my brush off a little bit. I've used the Ogallala Bay Rum and Sweet Orange. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. Ladders, superb, smells great, travel stick. Looks like I've used heaps of it actually. I used way more than what I thought. No, I've not used too much. You do use quite a bit, you just gotta be careful because it's it's it feels really hard, but obviously once you wet it, put it on your face and rub it, it goes down quite quickly. The brush was the wolf whiskers. Black Wolf Knot 24mm, superb, so soft, heaps of backbone, and as you can see, whips up a great ladder. Timeless 0.95 open comb, scalloped head, 11th use Kai blade. 11th use, I cannot believe it. And it will get a 12th, it will get an attempt at a 12th anyway, and it will most likely be a head shave, so that's 6 face shaves and 5 head shaves from one blade now. Just outstanding. Then moved on to Thea's Medicaid, which is a beautiful clove scent to go with the bay rum scented soap. I am now going to move on to Colonel Conk's bay rum. I really like this stuff. Doesn't have a restrict on it, so you've got to use your thumb. Good splash of that. Not the best time to shave <laughs> when you put after shave on. There we go. And I know a lot of people are a little bit put out by this. I don't know. I never know the best way to put stuff on. I just put this on last because moisturising should be the bit that you do last. So straight whisker after bam. Take a good dollop of that. All I can smell is the beer rum, so that's a good thing. So anyway guys, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that, I absolutely, I really, really enjoyed it. Amazed by these Kai blades. If you haven't tried them yet, try them. Even if you get one blade just to try out. And if you're blown away like I am, and the cost of them, they're expensive, but the longevity of the blades is superb, then they're worth every penny in my opinion. But other than that guys, you stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, it is Easter you know, this is when main accidents happen when it's holidays, so stay safe and drive safe, and I'll catch you guys next time, cheers.